The wind is freaking cold, man. But oh my god, already, already. That was quick. Oh, it feels good too. Oh, that was cool. That was so cool. Looks amazing. That is how quick we caught that trout. And now it is already cooked up. And now it's time to eat. Check out that catfish. Are you freaking kidding me right now? It's windy. We got the wind in our faces, so it's gonna be pretty hard to cast, but we're out here at the lake about to do a trout catch and cook. I have not had trout since last year, so today I figured, you know what? Let's catch us a trout and cook it up. Have a good morning. So that is what we're gonna try and do. I'm the only one out here. I love it. There is not a size limit in Texas on these trouts, but I would like a bigger one just because we're gonna eat it up. I don't wanna cook a little bitty guy, so let's see what we can do. Freaking wind, man. The wind is freaking cold, man, but oh my God, already, already. That was quick. But yeah, it's supposed to be in the upper 70s today. Pretty warm. Get over here, bud. Thank you, buddy. Caught this guy in seconds, and it's a decent one. We'll keep it. That is a real decent one. That's the biggest one I've caught this season. <laughs> I've only came out here once, but still counts. Yes, dude, that is perfect. I'm not wet my hands because we're gonna keep it. But dude, right off the bat, a perfect catch and eat size. Oh, that water is freaking cold. I'm going to get a stringer and bleed it out. I may have to turn the truck around because it is windy. All right. We're gonna be cooking this fish in the back of my truck on this stove. There's still a bunch of tools back here from the shed, which I still haven't got yet. Still waiting on them to call me to deliver it. But I am excited, dude. This is the quickest catch and cook I've ever done. We caught that good sized trout literally in seconds. Did I break her? No, I dropped it a lot. Oh, it is. The thing's missing. Well, that's cool. Well, I guess we're using this side. We're gonna have to keep it out of the wind, do it far back in here. I guess that's a good thing about a topper too, is it just blocks the wind. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not gonna leak propane, is it? No, the valve is inside. And my freaking stove top broke. Been bouncing around inside the truck. Once I get my truck rigged out for camping, it will be set up for cooking and all that good stuff. So we'll be set. It's so freaking windy. If we can keep a flame, we'll be good. Ah, oh, yes. My catch and cook bag, which I've not used in a very, very long time. Got everything we need in here. Filet knife, spatula, yes. All right guys, there is a trout once again. Pretty good sized trout. Doesn't fit in the pan, but once I cut the head off, it should uh, fit pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this trout, filet it and get it all good and ready to be cooked. And I will be right back. Ooh. The water is so freaking cold, my hands are like ice cubes right now. Alright, let's get the pan hot. She's already hot, look at that, she's smoking. That's just the cold water on the pan though. So we got some butter and some olive oil here. We'll start with the butter. A little too hot there. A little bit of olive oil. So we got the pan getting hot, which it already is, so we need to hurry up and I want to cut a side of this fish down the spine. I'm not filleting it, I'm just getting it to where it lays flat in the pan. Oh boy, I'm excited. Alright, so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of Slap Your Mama on there, as always. My favorite seasoning. We'll get both sides. 
Oh man, the sun's getting higher in the sky. It's starting to warm up a little bit. It feels good. This is gonna be a good freaking day. All right, next up we got some seasoned crispy chicken fry chicken batter mix. This has quickly become my favorite mix to put on fish. I'm glad it's not too windy right now because this stuff will be everywhere. Oh my gosh, this is going to be amazing. Yeah, if you're looking for a new fish batter, definitely try this one because it's awesome. I love it. I have never pan cooked a fish like this either where I sprinkle on the mix. So we'll see what happens, but I think it's going to be freaking delicious. My pan is getting hot, telling me it's ready. It says, come on, bring on the fish. Bring on the trout. All right, we are set in stone. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have splashed shit like that. A little messy, but we are good to go. Listen to that sizzle, man. Dude, it already smells so good. I'm not even kidding. I'm probably just smelling that, but it smells that freaking good. I love it. Sadly, once we take the bones out, we will lose a bunch of this flour, but oh well. It'll all be good. A little bit more slap your mama. Make it a little bit more spicier. All right, it's time to flip her. Okay, okay, a little burnt, but be all right. All right, three minutes is too long for the batter. Or this is just too hot. It's hard to tell with this little knob. Ooh, that fish looks so good. But what doesn't look good is the back of the truck. Not very appetizing, but once we clean it all out, get it all rigged up for camping, it's gonna be freaking awesome, man. We can do this anytime we want, anywhere we want. I mean, we still can right now, but with a nice camping setup, we could, oh dude, that's gonna be sick. I'm gonna throw a little bit more butter on the fish. Guys, look how freaking good that looks. Holy crap. I'm so happy I tried this. Battering up the trout. I've never battered trout before, so I figured let's sprinkle some on, try it out, and dude, looks amazing. So now we need to get the bones out, which sadly we're gonna lose some of this uh, batter. Oh, dude, it's so crispy. Dang, we lost all the freaking batter on this side. There's still some fish on here that we'll get off and get some batter. It's all about the batter. All right, there is the bone all taken out. We'll throw that in the guts bag. All right, we're gonna throw it back on for a few, uh, maybe a minute. Let all that fish cook again. Let's uh, split it down the middle. I'm gonna try to toss a little bit, not much, just a little bit of batter. Try to rebatter that up and just a little bit. I don't know how long we'll be cooking it. I want it to cook. If you never had trout, the uh, skin doesn't look very appetizing, but I promise you it is so freaking good. The skin is like the best part. Nice and crispy, fresh caught trout. As fresh as can be. I mean, we literally caught this probably eight minutes ago. I cast it out. I walked up here to this spot right here, turned around and saw the pole just bent and uh, it was on. That is how quick we caught that trout. And now it is already cooked up. And now it's time to eat. I am, oh dude, what a freaking morning. I'm so stoked for this. It looks so freaking good. I'm sitting in the truck avoiding the cold and the wind, but here it is. First bite. Look at that crisp. Look at that batter. So good. Let's see. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That is everything. 
that was worth getting up early in the morning and coming out here in the freezing cold freezing my hands off the skin is so crunchy too oh my god that bite right there that was heaven man i need to start doing this every single day this piece right here is going to be magical we got all that batter on this side skin on the back mm. crazy how good fresh caught trout is so slappy mama seasoning that chicken fried batter i showed y'all earlier butter and fresh caught trout and it is freaking amazing guys i'm telling you you need to try it, it is so good i'm going to be battering my fish like this every single time now because it's that good but I'm about to go out there after eating all this and go do some more fishing, catch a few more trout, and then we get to go home and work on the John boat. I got my lithium battery in yesterday, so I finally get to hook all that up and be done with all those wires for good. But yeah, I'm gonna finish eating this and then we'll go catch some more trout. <laughs> Holy titties, that's good. all right let's get back to fishing man what a freaking awesome way to start the morning and what a freaking awesome catch and cook dude literally in seconds i put a big ball on there too just to make sure we caught a big one and it worked hey the wind died down <laughs> that's good don't have to suffer in the cold anymore it's like oh you're done cooking my bait came off Oh, the whole hook came off. Whoa. That last fish put a beating on my leader. All right, let's try that again. There we go. This got tight. Does not feel very big. Oh, I think it just got off. Dang it. Oh, it feels good too. Maybe not, that thing feels tiny. I don't know, hard to tell. Feels good, but also feels tiny. Did we catch two? The big one is, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, that was cool, that was so cool. Chill out fish, don't wanna hurt you. I see that jump right there at the end? That was cool. Wet my hands. Oh, there he goes. That guy took off. Couldn't get the camera ready to film. Dang it. <laughs> All right, we got a big ball bait on there now. Big ball, bigger hook. Oh. That might be big. Tiny guy, come on. Well, there it is, guys. Big hooks, big baits small fish we will go ahead and end the video with this guy but guys i hope you all enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will catch y'all in the next one peace